Hello all, welcome to this session of software testing. We have talked about SDLC phases before and uh, we talked about the basic questions on testing. In this session, we are going to talk about SDLC models. Uh, a model is, is actually referred here as the approach approach towards developing a software okay the approach is typically based on the steps involved in development and uh, how we are using those steps and uh, how we are applying those steps across the time scale okay let us take a simple example um, assume that I have a 20,000 square foot area to be built, right? I have two options. Number one, uh, before going to that, uh, you can say, if I want to construct an office in this place, assume that the building is ready. Then I have to do certain activities. The actions are like uh, carpeting, right? Then uh, applying a false ceiling, right? Then uh, air conditioners, uh, the land cables, then uh, cabins, putting the uh, typical systems, right? In place, right? Then uh, before that, even before putting the systems, you need to have uh, furniture, right? So I need to apply all these activities to get the 20,000 square feet area ready for the office. My first option, option 1, right? Take all 20,000 square feet area, right? If I take all these 20,000 square feet uh, area, then I have to do apply one activity at a time. That means for the entire 20,000 square feet, I am going to first do carpeting. Assume that it takes about uh, one week. Okay. I am applying one activity at a time. And I am saying, just for calculation purpose, I am I'm saying it is going to take one week. Then I am going to apply false ceiling to make sure that AZ is effective. I say another one week putting the ACs again uh, another one week, putting the land cables one week, creating the cabins two week, furniture one week, then putting the systems two days, right? If then in this case one, two, three, four, six, seven weeks and two days, at the end of seven weeks I have the whole area ready, right? That means just watch here. I am applying one activity at a time, but I am doing that in full. Before completing carpeting, I am not going to do false ceiling. In that case, the whole area cannot be occupied before seven weeks, right? This is one approach. The second approach right the second approach is take 4000 square feet first apply the same set right if you apply the same stuff over here for 4000 square feet i may not need one week for carpeting i may do it in uh, say one day fall ceiling one day right ac fixing one day Land cables one day, cabins one day, furniture one day, systems, let us take uh, 0.5 day, right? In this case, at the end of the sixth day, I have got 4000 square feet ready to occupy. In first case, I am applying one activity fully across the whole space. Now, in the second approach, I am taking 
a part of the space, not the full space. Then applying all these things in a shorter interval. So at the end of seven days, I have got something to be occupied immediately. But rest of the 16,000 is empty. Then I apply the same thing again and again, five times. Five times do the above. Then you get all the 20,000 ready. Now what is in certain cases the first approach is good, in certain other cases the second approach is good. Right? In software again this is possible. Okay? I am just opening to a drawing window. I can do something like this. Right? This is like a staircase. Right? It goes in this direction. Now, assume that this is software. I am doing requirements phase here. Suppose I get 2000 requirements, take all the 2000 requirements and then do that in full. Then do the design. Then do the coding. Then do the testing. Then deploy, right? Deploy, right? So I am doing one phase for all the requirements. This is also possible. Okay? This is typically called, okay, waterfall model. When I say waterfall model, like the water flows from top to bottom, take one phase at a time, take all the requirements, do that in full, do design fully, do coding fully, do testing fully, do deployment fully. And again, if you look here, the x axis is the time, right? This particular thing is the time. Time is x axis. As the time passes through, you are doing one phase after the other. But look here. When can I get my product ready for testing for the customer? Only here. Only here, you can get something for the customer to test, right? ready for UAT. Till then, customer has got nothing to test. Here it's a document, here it's a document, here it's a document, here it is again document and binary, but still you are doing testing only here. That means customer has to wait in all these areas. So he has to wait for more time. This is one approach. This is the first approach. Take all the 20,000 square feet. In software, requirements is the space. When you say space, it is the area is a requirement. You have to cover the entire space. You have to cover all the requirements that customer wanted. Whether you are taking the entire set of requirements or you are taking, you are breaking it up, right? This is one approach. The first approach is waterfall model where you are doing design fully for all requirements, coding fully for all the requirements, testing fully for all requirements, then you are giving it to the customer. This is one approach.